Hey loves, so today I'm going to be showing you my three brand new acrylic brushes. Not only that, I'm going to show you how to break them in and how to crimp them. So stay tuned for the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's just get started. So like I mentioned, these are three brand new acrylic brushes from Kiara Sky. You can find them on their website and don't forget to use my discount code Myra10 at checkout to save money. So I did get three. Of course, I used my own discount code. I got them in sizes 10, 12, and 14, which are my top three most used sizes. Um, I love those sizes. It's what I love working with right now. I'll, of course, order more later on, but I wanted to get these as soon as they dropped. So um, I definitely want to get into it because I am obsessed with this brush. Just look at how beautiful it is. And then pink, what? Honestly, you just have to see it in person. You have to order it for yourself. If you're a nail tag, you need this. 100% Kalinsky, my favorite brush hands down that I have ever used. The acrylic is really hard to get stuck in. Um, you know, obviously acrylic gets stuck in your brush. And depending on the type of acrylic that you're working with, sometimes they get more stuck than others. But honestly, this one, it's very rare when my acrylic gets stuck in the brush. So, like, I just know I'm going to love them. Because Kiara Sky brushes never disappoint. So, um, this is the package that it comes in. All you have to do is, like, well, all I do is, like, push it up. You can also just, like take this out but I just like pull up and then it just comes out so let me take them all from the packaging oh yeah let me just show you the packaging so the outside of it is actually pink chrome the name Kiara Sky and then 100% Kalinsky acrylic brush it has all of these things the care instructions and their website and their Instagram their hashtag and make sure to get it and let me just take them all out of the container or out of their packaging. My bad. So I kind of want to keep one of the packaging just like just cuz, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, anyway, these are the brushes right here. Look at them, how they look, like, what? They do have them available from sizes 8, I think, all the way to 20. So, you know, whatever size you like. As beginners, I always recommend a smaller brush size, possibly sizes 8 or 10 to start out with. Once you get used to your brush, once you get used to, like, the monomer to powder ratio, then you size up. I would say my favorite would be 10 or 12 um, and then I'm just starting to like get used to the number 14 too so it comes with this uh, little clear thing that you're never gonna use again you don't want to try putting it back in once you use it because this is just to keep its form while you know like the shipping process and all of that so this keeps its shape you don't ever want to use it again because once you take it out and then you know you form the acrylic brush and then you try to put it back in how small it is it's just going to grab the hairs and then you're going to ruin your brush so we don't want to do that so the first thing you do is you take that off and throw it away because you're never going to need it again <laughs> and then so let's take it off let's get into the details actually hold up so the handle is a very pretty chrome color says the Kalinsky number size and then it says Kiara Sky right there in the handle and that pink so pretty so so pretty prettiest brush out there and so I'm just going to show you on one brush how to do it I'll do like an in-depth explanation so take this part off I don't even know what it's called and then you just, I recommend you using a glove because you don't want to use your hands. It has this glue that, you know, makes it keep its form. So you're going to want to 
gently like work it with your fingers I like to always keep it in the way that I'm gonna use it I want my brush to be like this so it can go with the way that the letters are so I'm just gonna kind of slowly start taking off that glue that is in it and then I'm just like shaking it around moving it around but not going all crazy because if I start going like this, it's kind of going to get used to it. It's not going to stay like that, but it's going to get used to that. And I want to keep it in the way that I want it. Remember, you're in control of your acrylic brush. So yeah, there's all that glue. I don't know if you can see it right there, but you want to take all that off. So yeah, you want to just be playing with it for a little bit. And then after that, you're going to grab a clean dappen dish. Any size, it really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to grab some monomer, which in my case, I'm using the Kiara Sky monomer. Putting it in there. And then grab a napkin. And then what I'm going to do is put the brush in there. And it's clean. Um, you're never going to use this one more again, obviously, because the glue is going to like be in there. And you're just going to want to do this a few times where you just dip it in the monomer and you kind of move it around the bristle still. But like I said, always make sure that you're using a glove because you don't want to be touching all of that, especially the monomer. And you do that a few times. So it's going to collect it. And then you're going to kind of like flatten it out. And there you go, it's all off. So you can do it as many times as you want, as many times as you feel is necessary. If you still see a little bit of glue, then um, you know keep doing it. And you see it's a round brush, so it's not pinched yet, but that's what we're gonna do next. So what I like to do is I just grab a lint-free wipe that you can find on my store. And then I get these. I don't even know what these are called, pliers or something. But I use these for the nail piercings, like to close the piercing. And this is what I'm going to use. So keep in mind where you want to pinch it. I always pinch it right here, like facing this way. So you can just use your brush like that. And then I cover this up. See, this is where I always mess up. Okay. And then you want to use this because I don't want to harm my brush. Do it this way. I wish I could see through it, but I can't. And then right below the top is where I'm going to pinch it. So like right here. Is this is nerve wracking. And then very lightly pinch it. And as you can see, it's pinched right there. And now, when you put the monomer in earlier, it went back to its round shape. And now, it's in the perfect shape. Sorry, I'm not great at explaining, especially in videos that I'm not like... Like, I don't think a lot before I do them. <laughs> that makes any sense. And then that's it. So now, like, you want to keep it like that. You want to apply your acrylic like that. You want to do everything like that because if you start using it in this way, it's going to kind of lose its shape. It's going to be like really weird. So I always keep it this way. 
and look at how beautiful that brush is i'm honestly so obsessed with this brush you guys like you guys have no idea when i found out that they were launching a pink acrylic brush i couldn't wait seriously and that is how you pinch your brush you guys so if you guys have any questions ever let me know down in the comments and i will explain it to you um better hopefully <laughs> but yeah um i hope you guys like today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you guys check out with Kiara Sky, make sure you use my discount code Myra10. Make sure to grab this beautiful pink brush. I hope they keep this forever because it's beautiful. But yeah, bye guys!